Well, I have a wife and five kids, so like security and safety is important to me. We live in a gated neighborhood. We actually have guards that have guns. And so to be honest with you, like I don't even lock my doors at night. Um, and so I spoke at an event and I actually, I don't really like to wear my ring because it's gigantic. You scratch your car, you, you rip your pants. So I take it off and I give it to my wife and we go home and she left her purse in the car long story short we woke up her purse was gone and it wasn't until like two or three days that we realized that my ring was in it um and then when we filed the report we realized that seven other houses had been hit that same night it almost kind of feels like it's attack on in an attack on my legacy because that's like as a little boy man that's the thing you work so hard to get and then when you get it and then you have a son that's like the thing that i want to pass on to my son but the more i had time to think about it really I don't need a, a ring for a champion is not my legacy to my son, my legacy to my son, my legacy to the men that I coach, my legacy to my four daughters is champion. It's not a champion ring. So the way I wake my son up every day by speaking champion, you follow me on Instagram, you've seen it, the way we do champion, the things we listen to, the things we read are champion. And so a championship ring is actually just a byproduct of a lifestyle that I'm raising my son up into, that I'm raising my daughters up into. And so I'm looking at this as a great thing because this happened. I'm able to be on a platform like TMZ with an old friend like Mike having a conversation about something I did, what, it was seven years ago and how it's still affecting people. So you can take my ring if you want. I've got it insured, but Mr. Mara, if you're listening to this, could you please, please, please give me permission to get another one? Because I'd love to give it to my son. The ring got stolen, Mike, but at the end of the day, man, I believe that God did this for a reason so I can tell a story. And and you know what? The guy that the guy or the gal that stole the ring, I'm sure, had a really good reason for doing it. So I hope it brings as much favor to their life as it has to mine. Wow. And that's not the approach I think that most people would have, Steve. Most people would be bitter and would be angry. But this person... Clearly, something is not going right for them in their life for them to do something like this, at least in my opinion. Uh, interesting take that you have, that you're not mad at this person. I Dude, I've stolen. Dude, if people knew all of the things that I've done, nobody would want to turn into this show because they would be disgusted by me. So really, at the end of the day, it's not like I'm like holier than thou. I'm not judging him because I've stolen before. Where are the police in their investigation? Do they have any leads? Any uh, any suspects? Do we have any idea where the ring ended up? Uh, we have no idea where the ring ended up. Um, it literally has my name on the side, Brandon Weatherford. So if it turns up, people should know about it. Um, but in regards to the investigation, um, I would have to assume that it had to be some type of inside job because there's cameras everywhere and there's a bunch of gates. So nobody was hurt. Things were stolen. Um, at the end of the day, man, somebody's walking around champion of the world right now. <laughs>